All right, so hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another uh, monthly pickups video, and today we're doing the month of September, even though I'm recording this in the end, almost beginning of November. So, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry again, always recording, editing, hell late, motivation, laziness, not wanting to do stuff or busy with other things or life or whatever. It happens. But I just want to say, here we are. <clears throat> now, we're going to be doing this a little bit differently on the channel due to, I don't have my, my original setup. I mean, I'm in my game room, as you can tell, but I'm here uh, in a different angle in the game room. And I don't know if you could be hearing the music in the background, which is PS4, because I might, well, not might, I will be putting um, my own music into the video like I always do. So there is that. Uh, but I want to say is, um, sorry, <laughs> you're probably getting like a lot of pickup videos in like the end of the year for like videos since like what, June or July, whatever the last one was supposed to be out, or August, I don't know. But anyways, um, here we are. <clears throat> now, as always, let's get into the DVDs, toys, or mangas first and then video games last like always. So let's do this. Okay, so the first movie I want to say I have is The Devil Wears Prada. It's just a movie that I watched with my sister a few times, and I kind of only got it because of that reason. Plus, I've never seen it, seen it around anywhere anymore, uh, especially at a thrift store. So that's kind of the reason why I bought The Devil Wears Prada. And plus, I learned a little bit of fashion and whatever, as you can tell, <laughs> uh, from watching stuff like that <clears throat> with my sister. And, of course, having a sister and home. Well, you know. Anyways, um, the next thing is, <clears throat> I have a throat problem going on. It's not COVID, but the same. <laughs> um, well, a little mini update, like I say. I did get sick. It was a sickness. I did get tested. I got negative, so I'm good. I'm great. Um, when I get sick, my cough doesn't go away. For veterans, has been on this channel for as long as I have, or just big. People that's been watching me for years, you will know I have a cough that does not go away until later on. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I feel like maybe I should turn off the the, the blue screen because I feel like I don't know what's the, it's like right there. I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's see if I do that. Maybe I should. I think I should. I wanted it just because it's there, but I feel like it's gonna be a distraction in the lens. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. I mean, that looks, that looks way better. Anyways. So, anyways, um, we got uh, Grand Torino. This was a big movie for uh, when it came out for me. I was laughing. I thought it was funny. I cor of course, I knew who Clint Eastwood was. Um, but I didn't really watch the movies. This is the only first one I've ever really watched. So, it was a big deal when I found it on, well, DVD. <clears throat> at the thrift store. Now, um, for this month, for the month of September, I decided to finally just get into certain DVD uh, sets, DVD collections. I've been wanting to do for like as long as I can remember. I've just been of course focused on video games like I've always been. Um, of course this is what the entire channel is based around of, but I will say that um, <clears throat> I have been picking up DVDs in the last year, as you, I know you guys have been watching, or has been watching. And um, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to start collecting superhero movies. I feel like I can do it. I don't feel like it's difficult. I felt like maybe it was probably difficult like five years ago. But that was 2015, now in 2020, almost 2021. And I'm realizing how easy it really is to get a lot of DVDs and, well, somewhat Blu-rays. So, um, 
this is gonna be the year for sure that I'm just gonna be starting to collect well superhero movies or not the year I would say the 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 beginning of collecting all the superhero movies as much as possible. Now, you might be saying, what's considered a superhero movie? Are we talking about like, um, Robocop? Or are we talking about like, Avengers? I'm talking about like Avengers, X-Men, Batman, Justice League, Spider-Man, even Green Lantern, stuff like that. I'm not talking about like, Robocop or, um, I, I have no idea what's another fucking superhero movie like, or ones that make fun of superhero movies, like uh, the superhero movie, or 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 anything like that. But I just wanted to point out that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm not gonna spend a, a more than five bucks on a movie that's based on a superhero movie because I can find them easy. I realize I can find them easy. So, <clears throat> so first one is Ghost Rider. I don't own it. Now I'm looking for the second one. <clears throat> Now this one might shock you guys. I don't own Iron Man. Yeah, I didn't own Iron Man, but this is the first. This is actually a movie I did see in theaters. Believe it or not, I was in what uh, 2008, so I was in ninth grade, I believe. And my sister just graduated out of high school, or about to graduate out of high school, or something like that, in 2008 or seven, whatever this came out. Uh, eight. This came out in eight, 2008. So yeah, that that time the time frame sounds about right to me. Um, I really liked it. I didn't think it was gonna be a whole a spawn a whole franchise, but it did. So, uh, the next actual movie after Iron Man, we got the Incredible Hulk. Um, this one I saw at the movie theaters. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, scratch that. I saw it at the outside movie theaters. Um, it, like I haven't seen many movies and outside in the theaters, but this is one of those. I did occasion so there's that the Incredible Hulk I know I own the Hulk on DVD so it's in my uncle's room um, there's just a big entire story about there but I'm not gonna explain it but very short story uh, long story short um, all DVDs went into a room he inherited that room it was the only room available it's in the room that's it <coughs> Where's my uncle? Not here. For a while. But that's pretty much the entire story. <clears throat> Alright. Next is uh, X-Men 3, The Last Stand. Um, I did see this a few times. I don't know where I first watched it. Probably like on FX on TV or something. I don't remember. But yeah, I remember that one. So, FX. Uh, by the way, all these are from either Swami, DIs, or whatever. And I can't tell you the prices because they all range from $1 to five dollars so one to five I'm not gonna tell you because I don't remember all of the prices because it's like one or two dollars it's it's totally different so but I can tell you to Swami or um, thrift stores or uh, or even Facebook but everything is less than five dollars one to five dollars uh, so X-Men first class this was from the thrift store um, it was actually a very good movie I really liked it I mean it, was, it made me think a lot of, oh hey look hey I didn't take this one off Two dollars. You know, see that one was two dollars. <laughs> so, X Men First Class. I, I liked it. So, <clears throat> um, let's see. Now this next one. Now this one was a big, big one for me. Um, especially because you guys all know. Hopefully, you guys know. I am a big fan of this entire franchise. So it, the first movie. It was my favorite movie of all time. My, my, my very, the very first movie is my favorite movie of all time. Second, of course, it's the second part two. I don't care about part three. If you know what it is, that's great because it's Back to the Future, the 30th anniversary uh, trilogy. So I, I've already owned the uh, 25th anniversary for a very long time. And then I recently got the um, 20th anniversary like last month in the month of August. Or, or something and then um, I also got in the entire trilogy on uh, VHS within this year I don't remember what year or one month but within the year and um, or two months whatever but uh, now I own Back to the Future 30th anniversary trilogy and this one's shaped as a book um, I can tell you I did get this one for five bucks and this was at the Swamit um, this is like your horse I'm a big Back to the Future fan 
you can't go wrong with being Back to the Future. I, of course, I don't know everything about Back to the Future. I would love to, and when I do, I will probably forget it in the future. Not like the future, like like later on. Um, it, it was one of those I seen it a few times, but I didn't appreciate it until I got older, and then I like I started appreciating it more and how much I really liked it and how much you like. You know what? If, if it was me in real life, I would love to go back to the past and fix certain things and blah, 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 you know, certain things like that. But it just makes you think a lot. Um, so once again, Back to the Future, uh, 30th Anniversary Trilogy. Sorry, this is a big one for me. So, uh, yeah. Just wanted to put that up. <sighs> Next, we have here is Disney's The Lion King. This is the live action one back in 2019 that came out. I did see this actually at the theaters. I saw it in the uh, 5600 West. West Valley location next to Target and Walmart and stuff. If you guys live in Utah, that's great. But I saw it there. It was on Five Dollar Tuesday. I watched it with my sister and my niece, and we loved it. Um, but I don't think it was as great as the cartoon version. So I did like it for what it is, for sure. I did like it. Um, but it was one of those I didn't like it as much as the cartoon version. Cartoon version is still better in my opinion. In my personal opinion. Since then, I have seen the Lion King live action a few more times. It is now on Disney Plus, and I don't know where else. It's just Disney Plus, I believe. So, Blu-ray and DVD. That's what I got it for. Uh, that was for five bucks. The uh, Swami. This one, I, I know. I, I know. I said I wasn't going to say the prices, but if I remember the prices, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So then we got uh, this one. This one. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm back and forth between both. I do like both. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, I like the cartoon version. I like the live action version. Um, the live action version changed something in the cartoon version, which I was totally fine with, and, and it worked, and everything was great. Um, and I will say right now, they did actually announce a sequel to this movie um, about maybe like a few months ago. I know they announced it. I thought it was pretty big news. So, anyways, this is uh, the live action version of Disney's Aladdin. So, I got this for, of course, Blu ray and DVD. And, um,. <coughs> Sorry, I've seen this movie. I, I can't tell you how many times I've really seen this movie. I've seen this movie a good gigantic amount of times. I've seen it with my sister and my niece. I seen it by myself several times. I've seen it with my niece several times, and with my sister, separate times and or together. And I've even seen it with my ex twice. Um, I, I honestly, I've just seen it a good amount of times. So I'm just gonna honestly say that. I can't tell you many times, but I feel like it's more than 20. <laughs> I don't know, but it's probably yes, who knows. So, Arabian Night! Okay, well, my voice is kind of there. My sickness is still kind of kicking it, but it's fine. And plus, I probably suck at singing it right now, so that's fine. It's fine. It's alright, whatever. <coughs> plus, I'm coughing. So, yeah, Disney's Aladdin live action. I loved it. <coughs> now, hmm. Sorry, I, I like. <sighs> Sorry, except sickness, coughing is bothering me. Um, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Now, this one I wasn't expecting to find. I believe I found this one uh, at the thrift store. Uh, I can't remember how much, but like maybe two or three dollars. I don't remember. Um, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Here, sorry, I keep saying that, but I'm not showing that. Um, and I really don't want my screen to go blue, but I know it's going to. So, this is just something I've been. Not been wanting to find, but like the movies are starting to get easier to find at at the thrift stores and swan meets, and <coughs> <coughs> sorry, it's never been like like a thing for me to go out there and look for them. Um, I always just find them, but maybe I should. I mean, I, I know there's a trilogy collection saga thing on Blu-ray and or DVD or just Blu-ray. That's something I do want, but I know this is the newest, last, latest movie, so, I mean, duh, obviously I'm going to buy it. So, uh, I did see it, I thought it was great, maybe not the best, but great. <coughs> <coughs> Man, can I stop coughing? <clears throat> Ekans coughing, okay. <sighs> yeah, I know, I said something Pokemon related. But anyways, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, 
but I'm excited to buy that anyways, you know. Alright, now this one, okay, I just want to point out, I thought, when I watched this movie, I, I watched it first on, finally, okay, give me a talk. I finally watched this movie on Disney+, Plus, and I was like, oh, that's right, I forgot, they own Fox now, I totally forgot, because they're adding in, like, movies that's owned by Fox, like, I've seen Ice Age, and, and I think Shrek is on there, and, um, and, uh, they added The Wolverine, I never seen that, I watched it, that was good, now, this movie, it, it flopped in the box office, and I was, I never seen it, and I was like, I kept avoiding it, because everyone said it sucks so bad. And then they added it on Disney Plus, and I was like, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. And I watched it. I actually watched it. Now, for what I thought about it, every, everything was okay. I was okay with some of the things. Like, you know, like I don't know if they changed this before in the comic books or not before. Certain things. The only part where I feel like they really fucking sucked at was explaining that someone got their powers from a different planet. And like he was alive and the way they were doing it it was very like uh, we've seen this before like just how they're gonna win da, da, da. so that's what I feel like really killed the movie for me which is the obvious evil plot of how he got his powers and what he's gonna do with it and why and and, and human life sucks and blah 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 so yeah this is the Fantastic Four, the reboot, the reboot movie of 20 whatever year it came out, <laughs> 20 whatever year, I don't want to the year, 20, um, well, I don't remember, I don't even say the year, is it, is it afraid to say the year, 2015, came out 2015, okay, so I've never seen it in 2015, um, but I saw it, of course, in the last two, three months, I don't know, and, um, I thought it wasn't that bad, yeah, it's not the greatest, but I thought it was okay. Just what I said. I'm not trying to do spoilers, but I mean, I, I tried really hard. Could've done better, but I don't think it was the worst. I don't think it was the worst. So yeah, that was the Fantastic Four reboot from Fox. Alright, this one, this one I don't remember much of. Um, I did watch it. Um, I don't remember where I watched it, but I know I watched it like at my house here somewhere. Maybe it was like a, maybe it was on like Netflix or Hulu or something. I don't know. But <coughs> I'm talking about years ago when it first came out. <sighs> Why do I keep coughing? I ain't been coughing. Um, X Men Apocalypse on Blu Ray and DVD. So um, again, this another one I, I needed to add to it. Um, it was like the second to last X Men um, pre sequel. Trilogy movie? I, I don't know. The, the the second or yeah, was it? Yeah, the second uh, movie in the pre sequel trilogy. That sounds about right. <laughs> I think that sounds about right. Anyways, okay. The last three movies are pretty fucking big. I'm not saying that Back to the Future wasn't big, but for me it was. Um, so the next one. Okay, so I found Spider-Man Homecoming on Blu-ray and DVD. I uh, found this for five bucks, Swarm Meets, and um, I've seen Spider-Man Homecoming at least twice. In the same week, I was pretty excited for Spider-Man joining the MCU, and of course from Civil War, I saw that too, and I was like, oh my god, I really want to know what to do with Spider-Man, because like, Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel superhero. Favorite Marvel, Marvel. My favorite from DC is by Batman. I've said this plenty of times. Plenty of times. 100%. Plenty of times. Um, and, <coughs> and, of course, with, throughout the years, I appreciated other superheroes from Marvel and DC, respectively. And um, I, I do feel like my second favorite probably is Iron Man. Maybe even Wolverine still. I don't know. But Spider-Man's 100% always been my favorite. 100%. It's never gonna change, no matter what. Um, Batman, it's oh, it's always been Batman for DC. Um, second, I've never really had a second, but as of the last few years, I'm gonna have to 100% give it to The Flash. I, I cannot think about who deserves it more, in my opinion, than The Flash. But again, I don't know everything about comic book and entire comic book knowledge in the entire world like that. So 
yeah. Anyways, so once again, that was Spider-Man Homecoming. I love the movie. Go watch it. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Sponsor me if you want. <laughs> uh, anyways, next is Marvel. This is the big one. This is the biggest one. This is the biggest thing. Um, I didn't think I was going to get it the first month. I thought I was like, I'm going to eventually find it. And if I had to pay 10 bucks for it, I'll be fine with that one. Um, including part one. But um, I wasn't expecting to find it within the first month for $5. So I found the biggest box office record-breaking superhero movie of all time. In movie in general, honestly. I found Avengers Endgame on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, or not Blu-ray and DVD, sorry. It's just Blu-ray. It's Blu-ray. Um... I'm like, wow, you know, that's, that's pretty fucking good. Um, I wasn't expecting to find it so fast, um, but I was pretty excited when I found it. Pretty well, like you said, trust me. Uh, it was that Back to the Future, it was like right away, it's like, oh my god, they're right next to each other, basically. So, five bucks. I bought it for five bucks. So, just want me. So, um, i seen Avengers Endgame multiple times. Uh, um, I went to the, to the movie theater to watch it. I, I saw it on... <clears throat> I hate to say it, but a certain site, I'm not going to say sites, um, and then I saw it again um, on Disney Plus when they when they launched Disney Plus. Uh, I didn't get it the first week or anything, I think it was like, a, with the, like the next week or two, uh, we got Disney Plus and it was like the first movie that was there and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to watch it eventually. <laughs> it was like that and Wally -E and, and some of the things we were watching on Disney Plus, we were just excited. but. I seen Avengers Endgame several times on Disney Plus and I really loved it and I was like, you know what? If I ever gonna start doing this thing I'm telling you guys about now, I'm gonna just buy Endgame. Like I should. I've seen the movie a million times. Like I, I swear to God. Every time I watch it, I feel like I'm learning something different or I've never seen something with a different perspective because I'm watching perspectives and analysis videos and theories on YouTube about just this one movie. <laughs> so <clears throat> now I'll get I don't know sorry I don't know how long I'll be recording for but um let me let me get into it so uh next one is um Marvel Studios Ant-Man and the Wasp so this was 4k this is the first 4k ultra HD DVD I've owned, I ever owned ever owned I found this at the thrift store for like two or three bucks maybe five I don't remember but even I thought it was a steal and plus this is the biggest thing of all besides for having finding a 4k thing this is sealed it's, it's it's never been opened so someone bought it i don't know just just give it away i'm like okay i i straight up don't understand that logic but i'm good with it because i got it <laughs> so thank thank you thank you okay so that's all the those movies <laughs> okay so we're gonna go a little bit quicker because i don't know how i'm recording I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't even know the time I started recording, so that's my own fault. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2, this is a PC game, uh, got it for like a dollar or something at the thrift store. This, uh, these two are, um, albums. <clears throat> now, I only collect albums for, um, artists I'm very aware of, and I really like their music, and I really like that soundtrack. This one is the only soundtrack album he's ever made I'm aware of <clears throat> I'm aware of probably did make another one but it's the only one everybody really knows it's hot shot from Shaggy so of course you're gonna know like <clears throat> uh, let's see Angel <coughs> <coughs> hate my cough you're my angel you're my darling angel that one and then um it wasn't me Tell you something, something, something. Tell you from the girl next door. I, I don't know how it goes right now. I really don't. But yeah, that, that, that. So just, just, just to say, just to say. And then the last one. This one is a big one. I uh, never seen it at the DI thrift store. Never. Um, this is a Neo Year of the Gentleman. Um, of course, there's actually a lot of songs on here. I do know like closer than Miss Independent. I'm not gonna sing all these. Miss Independent. Um, let's see, back to what you know, and then, uh, let's see, sorry, there's like a sticker in the way, I paid a dollar for it, by the way, um, 
a mad and nobody and just yeah so I'm not gonna go with all the rest of them but pretty much um next <coughs> so we got more DVDs and a VHS tape so the VHS tape um, I, I had to check if I owned this because I've said this before in the past about owning these Pokemon VHS tape I'm trying to collect all of them and now I have a good idea of what I have left to go but I forgot to write down the ones I actually did need so I'm gonna have to go back into looking into that again this is Pokemon the Great Race I found at the I, I it was like a dollar um, it was actually pretty immaculate condition honestly uh, just yeah Pokemon the Great Race uh, this one <clears throat> I don't need a movie, I already own these movies separately, or sorry, separately, all in the collection. Uh, but this is Dragon Ball Z Bio Broly Uncut Movie. This is the Bio Broly movie. Uh, for a lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies, I have not actually seen. I have not seen about half of them. Um, I have not seen, like, Tria Might. I have not seen Bio Broly. I have not seen the second uh, Broly movie. I have not seen um, Lord Slug, I think. I've seen half of the one with uh, Android 13. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I can't remember all the movies, but um, yeah, I, I've not seen all of them. I'll say that. But I have seen all the super ones. I have seen Broly, Dragon Ball Super, Broly. I've seen Resurrection F and Battle of Gods, so I'll say that. So yeah, Bio Broly. I've not seen it. Um, heard it sucks, but I'm like, whatever. I, I've not seen it, so you know, whatever. Now this one, I've not seen a single one of these movies, but for the collection, I'm like, that's so fucking stupid. I'm supposed to buy it for a fucking dollar or two. Uh, this is Oceans 3 Film Collection. This is all three of the Oceans movies. This is uh, Oceans 11, Oceans 12, and Oceans, and Oceans 13. So, yeah. Um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to eventually watch them. People liked them for a reason, so I'm like, okay. Now this one I have seen, the first time I've ever seen this movie, I watched it actually in junior high. Um, <clears throat> I, I watched it from like a very fucking tight, cool ass teacher. That was my math teacher. Um, and he was my math and something else, I'm pretty sure. But he was my math teacher for sure. In like uh, the seventh and eighth grade, I believe. So, uh, he made us watch this movie called Forrest Gump, and I've never seen it, and I gotta say, finally to this day, I have to really appreciate that, because I, I just, you know, I I didn't know I was gonna really like this movie. Um, it was like at the time that I was like trying to explore different stuff other than video games, like I don't know anything else besides like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and Power Rangers and Digimon and whatever else, Dragon Ball Z. And video games, you know, I was exploring my horizons. Like, what is Call of Duty? And <laughs> and, and I'm getting into Halo and stuff like that. You know, I was, I was like at that time frame. I was I was probably like so uh, seventh grade. I was like 12, 13 years old, or or something. So that makes sense. That makes sense for me to kind of explore those in my opinion. Um, and of course, girls, girls. That's the thing too. <clears throat> just just to say, it's, it's life. We all go through it. We all through it. Go through it. And then we got um. This one was a big one for me. <clears throat> this was a big one. Um, I didn't expect to find it. I didn't expect to even to find this. I was expecting to try to find the 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 last movie I think I was trying to find, and it was Resurrection. But I wasn't expecting to find this entire box. So I found the entire Alien Legacy collection. So basically, this has Alien, Aliens, Aliens two basically, Alien three, Aliens three. And an Alien Resurrection, um, all three movies, all four movies, sorry, in a collection, all four. I, and I said this before when I when I got the last Alien movies, Aliens one with Predator, and then Predator two with Aliens two, uh, and then Aliens three by itself, and then like um, then there was like another thing, what wasn't Aliens, and then Alien vs Predator Requiem. I don't, I've not seen a single Aliens movie and Predator movie. I've only seen Aliens vs. Predator, the first one, I believe. So, I've never seen them or something, but I've never seen them. So, I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I got them now. How cool is that? So, 
Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I was like, what's this? I missed it, but no, no, no. It's just something I'd never put away. <laughs> never, put, never put it away, and I forgot about it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not really trying to cut out of anything. I'm just trying to go, go, go. <sighs> um. If anyone wants to know, like, why I'm just like continually going, I'm not trying to cut, cut. I'll cut if I really need to. Um, again, I know how I cut myself out, but if I'm still talking for a while, you know, myself knows not to cut. <clears throat> Alright, so, <clears throat> these are all mangas. Um, it's not the biggest mangas I've found since, like, I think last month. Yeah. Which was August. <coughs> yeah, August or July was, like, the biggest month I've ever found any mangas. So... These are all mangas and um, and or one comic book, so let's get into them. So the one comic book, or or something, we have here is Spider-Man Family Untold Team Ups. Uh, this was a di, this was a thrift store find. I don't remember, maybe like a dollar or something cents. I don't know, but I found that. Now these, I this made me laugh, but I bought them because you know what? I know someone else is gonna be buying them. If I don't really want it, I'm going to sell them. Um, so, and I did leave the price tags on them. This is Disney's Kilala Princesses. I have no fucking idea what the fuck this is. Kilala Princesses. 75 cents. That's what it says I got them for. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Next. Now, these are pretty big. I've never found this these many Kingdom Hearts mangas before. Now, I feel like I've already owned one of these already, so I'm gonna just go with the two that I think I've already owned. So, this is the one I think I already owned. This is Kingdom Hearts Volume 2. Sorry, Kingdom Hearts 2 Volume 2. So, I think I already own this one. Uh, but I got it for like, again, 50 cents to a dollar. I don't know. And this one is Kingdom Hearts 2 Volume 1. I don't own this one, so I'm gonna probably keep it. I'm gonna probably keep it. <clears throat> now these are Kingdom Hearts books, but the only one I think I own is this one, which is Volume Four. So Kingdom, uh, this one said okay. So all these were like seventy-five cents. All these seventy-five cents. Okay, Kingdom Hearts Volume Four. I think I own this one already. <clears throat> and then we have Kingdom Hearts Volume Three. Okay, all fifty, all seventy-five cents. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Volume Two, and then. Kingdom Hearts Volume 1. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Um, again, I feel like I own two of those books already. I'm not sure exactly. I have to literally... I have to literally look at them. I have to literally look at them. Now, here's two books. I just... I know I don't own... I, own, I don't own these. I know I don't own these. So, we're going to go with um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. So let's start with 5Ds. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds Volume 7. This one I actually picked up at the Nerd Store. I bought this for whatever the half of the price was, so it was 10, so half of that would be 5. And they gave me a discount because <clears throat> the manager knows it. Well, not really. I was like, give me like a dollar off. So whatever. Thank you. But thank you. At the Nerd Store. Um, <clears throat> by the way, <clears throat> um, there will be a separate video at some point, at some point, uh, not, maybe not on this channel, maybe I will on this channel at some point, at some point, um, uh, but there will be a video that I, I did game hunting with somebody special, okay? A lot of these DVDs, Blu-rays, mangas, games, everything I have here, half of it, I was game hunting with somebody here. <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna, like, say... Like, oh, it's a secret. No, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up. Uh, if you made it this halfway, uh, I didn't expect my friend DBZ, XX Dragon Ball Z, X4X to show up here in Utah. I didn't know about it. They surprised me about it. Um, it was a blast. I just, I didn't know and I would have saved money for him to come and we could have done a lot more things. Uh, but, you know, as, as much as possible because, you know, what's going on in COVID and we had, he, had, he was here for a time frame. And I didn't plan for it, even though I did take two days off, and it was for me personally because I was tired and I wanted to relax. But I didn't know who's actually gonna be here, which timed out perfectly when I asked. I was like, "Wow, that's that's pretty crazy." So, <clears throat> yeah, Volume Seven, Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. He was there with me. I don't know if he bought anything. I'm pretty sure he did, but I don't remember what. So, 
Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, uh, Volume 6. I just, I know this one I didn't own either. Um, GX. Yeah, there's a card inside? I didn't actually check if there's a card inside? Like, like, how would you know? I don't know. I, now I'm curious. What would the card be inside? And plus, what page would it be on? I don't know. I just want to know. Is there is there like a page that like it's shonen jumps like like it's attached to the page? Like they do that at shonen jump all the time. Uh, but I don't know because I don't think they still make shonen jumps anymore. I could be wrong. Leave in the comments below. Do they still make shonen jumps? What would the card be? I don't know. I feel like it would just been a, sl a slip on like oh it's inside. Not uh, attached to the paper. I don't know. I can't find it. Alright, next are two Pokemon books. I got from the th uh, Swarmings. Uh, I got Pokemon Adventures Diamond and Pearl Platinum and Pokemon Adventures Ruby and Sapphire. Volume 15 and 2, respectively. So, uh, yeah. I don't remember how much I paid for these. Um, I want to say thank you to David, the guy that swarmed me that sold me these. So, once again, thank you. Next, we are still going. Like, thanks, we're still going. How, how stupid was that? We're still going. Of course, we're still going. We're still going. Now, there's going to be a toy I want to show you, but I don't know if I showed you last month. If I did, I'm sorry, but you're going to see it again. Mm -hmm. If I can get all of them, if I can get all of them without standing up, Okay, so that was the goal, was to get all of them without standing up. Alright, here we go. So, this one was actually bought from my friend Sergio. Um, there was something going on with my debit card at the time, and long story short, I couldn't get money out of my bank for a minute. If I, Unless I went to the bank itself, showed my ID and other stuff. So, um, if this was on sale at GameStop.com. And um, I wanted it. It was like $7.99 or something like that. I don't know. It was it was cheap. And I wanted it. I was like, you know what? I can't find anywhere at GameStop because, you know, of course, there was also a big sale before that for these. And they sold out quickly. So when it was a chance to finally get it, I came in. So thank you, Sergio, for getting this for me and paying you back. And I did. Uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Goldar. Um, I already have Lord Zed. I don't really care about getting the Lord Zed and... Um, we did a Pulsa, like, anniversary, wedding event anniversary, I don't really care about any of that, but Goldar was, like, the main henchman, like, leader, uh, in my opinion, so, of course I wanted Goldar, <laughs> so, again, a big Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan, uh, not, not general, not Mighty Morphin in general, but I mean, like, a big Power Ranger fan in general, <clears throat> don't know everything about Power Rangers, but I'm, I try, I try, so next, uh, what I have here is the Lightning Collection. Okay, by the way, all these are Lightning Collection. I just like to say, like, this is I got from the. Okay, so there was two places actually selling this, and I'm gonna tell you a, bit, a little bit of a story about this one, about these two actually. Um, what well, we'll just say I'll tell you what they are. So Lightning Collection, Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer, and <laughs> Lightning Collection. Oh man, hey coffee. Lightning Collection Zeo Gold Ranger. Okay, so these are the two uh, lightning collections. So just get there, you go. There, you got you. Okay, these these guys. So I had to get them originally from Amazon because I didn't think my orders from GameStop were coming in. I bought it from Amazon, including something else, the big one from Amazon, which is Amazon exclusive, um, which I'll show you next. I thought it was just not going to come in anymore, you know I'm going to buy from Amazon because I don't know if it's going to be showing up in GameStop anytime soon because I feel like it's going to take forever and I've been waiting for these for like literally a month from GameStop, almost a month and a half honestly, and it's like you know I'm just going to give them a buy from Amazon and it showed up in, from my house for like a, a week later. <sighs> a week after I got them to my house, the, the same two that I pre-ordered at my own GameStop came in and then I was like, oh god. And then my manager knew that I wanted to get these, and I was kind of like, sort of annoying him to get them. But like, hey, are they coming in? Am I coming in? Are they coming in? And um, they came in, and I didn't buy them the first day. I had to lie to, like, I don't have the money. Give me like a moment. I'll come back tomorrow. 
and my excuse was I did have the money, but I already owned them. So I talked to my friend Sergio if he needed them, and he said yes. So I was like, good, I'll buy them for you. Just pay me back, and he did. So uh, these are my my uh, copies from Amazon, while he got his own copies from GameStop. But the big reason I went on Amazon, besides that reason, was there was an Amazon exclusive lightning collection <clears throat> that you're never gonna see. And I was like, oh my god, I need to get this. This is something huge, I'm never gonna see it, and this is probably like the biggest one in the entire collection. This is the Lightning Collection SPD Omega Ranger and Unif Unif uh, Uniforce Cycle. This is the biggest one. Um, it's not one of those like, you open the door type of like cardboard and you can see the actual thing inside. It's not that. I, I, I thought it'd be pretty cool if it was one of those, but it's not. But in general, I just needed th this one. Now, since then, in October, we I did get another Lightning Collection. Um, I just can't show you it because it's in October, but I did get another one. And that's a Walgreens exclusive, but um, I'll tell you what it is, but you'll see it next month anyways, okay? So, in October, there is <coughs> there is a Walgreens exclusive one for the Lightning Collection White Ranger Dino Thunder Ranger. Um, big story about that one. Order it on Walgreens.com if you don't see it at the store. It's simple to do. Just order it on Walgreens.com. Don't ship it to your house. Go ship it to like the nearest uh, Walgreens. It's free shipping for if you do that. When you and then when you get an email confirmation saying you bought it, okay, you wait and you get another email saying hey, it's arrived at your store. Show them this email or something like that, and then you get it. You get it, okay, for like twenty dollars, whatever you pay for it. Then <clears throat> this. This is the only sneak peek you're gonna see of it, okay? And then, once you get it to your house, keep your receipt, keep the paper you got, and then go to Hasbro.com forward slash customer service. And please hurry up and ask for a <coughs> sorry, ask for a um, replacement helmet because they fucked up on the helmet for the Dino Thunder helmet for White Ranger, and then they'll eventually send you. If you do it all correctly on their customer service and yada yada yada, just they want to see your picture of the item, the picture of your receipt, and a picture of the confirmation number saying that you have the confirmation number of doing this exact thing. And they'll send you this they'll send you the White Ranger Dino Thunder helmet replacement. Um, mine's not, I haven't opened mine up to do that yet. Yet, yes, I will do it just just to replace the helmet and then put the old helmet somewhere in the box so it's not missing anywhere else. So I can still see both helmets, but I'm gonna put the main helmet on my well figure. But anyways, besides that, that is the what I'm gonna go so far in the lightning collection. Because anybody was curious, um, yeah. So <laughs> just 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 in general, yeah. Okay, so um, I want to say. I want to say, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, now, I don't know if I showed these in last month, I don't remember, um, I have to hurry up and make room, because I'm, I'm running out of space for myself for October, and it's, it's, it's climbing, it's climbing, um, so these are Shonen Jump, uh, manga books, so I'm going to show them really quick, so again, I don't know if I showed them or not, this is August 2008, Okay, there's Ichigo on the cover. This one is March 2008 with Luffy on the cover eating. Then this is uh, February 2008 with Ichigo and um, I don't know her name. i never seen Bleach, really. I'm sorry. I will one day. I really will. I, will, I, will, I, really, I really will. I really will. And then there's, um, again, Ichigo and this one guy from Bleach. Whoever owned these before owned, really liked Bleach, I guess. I guess, I don't know. Um, the next one, uh, hold on, there you go. This is from June 2007. Um, this is uh, Yugi on the cover from Yu Gi Oh! Okay. And the last one, uh, it's not Bleach. <laughs> uh, I got Naruto from Naruto Shippuden. So, so yeah, I got all these um, for like a dollar or something. Uh, the price is on one of these, hold on. Yeah, dollar. So one, two, three, four. I paid three, 
six bucks for all six of these, so that's not <clears throat> that's not bad. All right, now um, when DBZ Patrick was here, uh, we went to a store up north. I've personally never been to, and the store is called Numbskulls. They have video game related, uh, well, games. They have accessories, video game related stuff. And besides gaming stuff, which I'm going to show you here in a while, um, I bought, <coughs> including him, but he bought more, <laughs> Nintendo Powers. So I've not seen Nintendo Powers in a while. So I, I had to ask for me personally, it's like, are those for sale? Is there Nintendo Powers? And then when we saw Nintendo Powers, we were both kind of like, well, okay, I want these Nintendo Powers. And then we were kind of like, we weren't like hogging Nintendo Power for ourselves. It was just me and him basically going for them. And I'm like, oh, I don't want this Nintendo Power. And I don't want to give it to DBZ. We were actually pretty cool. Like, we were like, I know DBZ is a bigger fan of like Zero from Mega Man or something. And I was like, you know what? If this one has like a cover of Mega Man on it, you can have that one. And then uh, he did the same thing. He's like, here, Kirby, you can have uh, this one of Kirby on it because I know you're a bigger fan of Kirby than I am. So we were kind of like. <coughs> Sorry, we were both kind of like, like helping each other out just because we were like we we're more interested in the covers and we're like we don't remember which ones we were missing. But I knew that I know I don't own these except for maybe this only one. I don't know if I really own. If I do own this one, then fuck. It's the only one I bought that I wasn't sure if I bought because well, I had to buy it. All right, so these are all Nintendo powers, um, all from separate years. Um, volumes. 36 to 138. They're just random numbers, okay? So, we got here for 138. We got the only one, like I said, this is the one I think I already own, I don't know, is the Hel the Hey You Pikachu Nintendo Power. Okay, this is volume 138 from 1990... Uh... No, not from the year 2000. November 2000, okay. From the year 2000. Okay, okay. So yeah, got uh, Hey You Pikachu, Nintendo Power. So that's what's up. Then the next one we got here is also from the year 2000 from July, Valium 134. This is Kirby 64 to Crystal Shards, Nintendo Power. So this is the one I was talking about for his, his example. Okay. Now here's one he did give me um, because he knows I was more into Army Men. Uh, this is the. Uh, June 2000, Valium 133, Nintendo Power. This is Army Man Air Combat, uh, which is also Air uh, Air Attack on the PlayStation. I own both versions. I really loved playing that game. Ace Combat and or uh, uh, Air Attack. They're the same exact fucking game, just with different titles. I don't know, but that's what he did. That's what he did. I don't know. Now, this one was kind of like we are both hesitant because we are both pretty, like, <laughs> we felt tied on. Um, I know he got some Nintendo Powers I really wanted. I think this is Nintendo Power he really wanted. But I was like, you know what? We kind of like met in the middle. So we were kind of like figuring out what. So this is a Nintendo Power. Uh, March, March Volume 82 from. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say 1992. I, I don't know what year exactly. Because back then they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Um, they didn't tell you the year. That's the problem. They didn't tell you the year these are coming out. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and tell you over the year, but this is uh, from like 1992 or something. So, uh, Super Mario RPG: Legend of the Seven Stars. So, Nintendo Power. This one is also uh, May Volume 72 from 1990, like three or two. This is Nintendo Power's uh, Kirby Kirby Dreamland 3. On the Super Nintendo. Okay. Next we have here is Earthworm Jim. Um, this is from. Oh, sorry. Valium 76 in December. Uh, I don't know what year, so I'm gonna go with uh, 1990. 91, 2, 3, I don't know. But yeah, Earthworm Jim on Super Nintendo. Okay. Next one is. <clears throat> Okay, sorry. Next one is Secret of Mana. Uh, this one is from November, volume 54 from 1990. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Four or five. Whatever. Yeah. This one is uh, volume 46 from March 
uh, Super Nintendo game, I think. Buster's, yeah, Buster's Bust Loose, Super Nintendo game. Um, 1993, 4, I don't know what year. Buster's Bust Loose. Okay. <clears throat> and the last one, he, he knew this one for me. Uh, <clears throat> this is a Valiant 36. Uh, this is from the NES, so this was like probably like the oldest one I have. Or sorry, is the oldest one I have. Um, this is uh, I can't tell you exactly the year, maybe 1990. I, I don't know. This is a uh, Volume 36 to the power, Darkwing Duck. So yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's some of into the powers I got. So there's there's that. Okay, next we are now into the. <coughs> yeah, I'm good. Into the games. We're now into the games. Um, I am making sure we are. There's nothing else to go. Okay. So this is the uh, Leapster. This is a Leapster. So I, I didn't care about buying this. I really didn't until I found two games for it. one game, especially kicked in two gear and I'm like you know what I'm gonna buy the other one too because I've never seen them though so this this leapster as of what I could know right now I have no power to it I can't turn it on I don't know if it works but I bought it for a fucking dollar I bought a leapster for a fucking dollar so you're like why <clears throat> well two games we're gonna get into those two games in a minute but just two games okay so let's put that aside. Put all these aside. I'm gonna make space for a port game right here. I don't know what we're doing. <coughs> Man, I should have got water. I don't want to get up and get water. <sighs> I don't want to get up and get water. So we're gonna see how I can do without drinking water because I do feel a little tired. Okay, so. Let's get to. Uh, we're getting to the older games first. Okay. Well, scratch that. Older portable games and stuff. <laughs> okay. From the Swamit. Uh, okay. I can't tell you all the stories. I'm just gonna tell you. Had, I'm just gonna tell you all the stories of Amber. Okay. <sighs> Swamit from Rick. All their people at the Swami, like Jamie, um, Caesar, David, uh, the two Hispanic couples, um, Manuel, not Pikachu, Rob, um, Closo, and Delilah. Oh, and the, and the girl that knows my mom and her sister. So, her and that's it from the Swami and then uh, Numskulls um, Minus World Games Game Stops uh, Thrift Stores Game Changers I can't think of anything else I think that's all the stores I think that's everybody okay okay all right here we go so uh, Mega Man, Dr. Wily's Revenge. I own this on the 3DS Virtual Console, so it's good to own this. <clears throat> Alright. Next we have here is Ozzy and Drix. I don't remember where I found this from. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's right. And DVD Game Exchange. I forgot about DVD Game Exchange. DVD Game Exchange. One of them, by the way. Uh, then we have here is... Uh, Battle Arena Toshiden, so Swami. Again, I can't tell you the prices unless they're stickered or remember them. So this one was eight. They got it for cheaper because I bought more stuff. <clears throat> uh, X Men Game Masters Legacy. This was like five or something. Uh, Numb Skulls. Game Gear. There's only Game Gear. Uh, Chuck Rock Two. Son of Chuck. Uh, I think it was Numb Skulls. I think it was Numb Skulls. Uh, Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge, uh, complete in box, I, uh, num uh, Minus World Games, Minus World Games. Uh, Mega Bomberman, never heard of it, or sorry, never heard of it, never seen it, so, uh, Numb Skulls, 
Okay. All right. By the way, all those Nintendo powers I mentioned, did I, did I say they're from Num Skulls? So they are. Okay. <sighs> Next. Uh, Dreamcast, 3DS, and NES. <clears throat> Knight Rider. Uh, recently getting into that series. Yeah, recently. And it's like a 1980-something show. And there's this movie and stuff. So, yeah. Knight Rider, NES, uh, minus World Games. <clears throat> oh, and Facebook Marketplace. I forgot about Facebook Marketplace. Probably KSL. Let's just say the right in here, too. Uh, KSL is a, like a local Craigslist for Utah. Uh, Metopia. Metopia. So, Metopia. That was like $10. Okay. Uh, Better Alive 2 Dreamcast. I. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember where I got this one from. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, oh, no, wait, I didn't know it was from Gene. Okay, Swami. Um, next one is Battle Hunter. This is from the Swami, Ricardo. I know that one. I don't remember how much I paid for it, though. Okay, these three are from uh, Jamie. Pretty big ones, too. Final Doom. Never heard of Final Doom on PlayStation 1. Uh, I can't tell you the prices. I don't remember them. He, he bundled it up for me. So... Uh, ignore this price tag. It wasn't for that price. Wish it was, though. Uh, Metal Slug X on the PlayStation 1. Swami. Now, this one was a big one. This was a big one. I thought it was, uh, for a moment, I thought it was, um, Inhander? Inhinder? The, the one on PS1. I don't remember the name. Uh, it's from, um, Square Enix. They made, like, it was, a, it was like a fucking amazing shoot em up. E hander, E hander, I don't remember. Uh, but it's not that. This is um, Thunder Force 5 Perfect System. That's that's amazing right there. PlayStation 5. Uh, PlayStation 5. PlayStation 1. Alright, and then um, from there. Okay. Uh, had to cut. Had to cut. Um, yeah, wasn't trying to cut, but had to eventually cut. So if I was doing this for a long time, had to cut. <clears throat> okay. Uh, for Leapster, remember those two games I was talking about? I got for Leapster. It was um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This was the one I was like, I'll get it because I don't see it. Like whatever, I'll get it. <clears throat> And then this is the one like, you know, I'm gonna buy it because I've never seen it. <laughs> uh, Sonic X. Sonic X. Yeah, that's it. Um, again, I know they're just Leapster games, but it's whatever. They're too good or actually know what they are, Leapster games. So that's something. Um, next, <clears throat> uh, these are on PlayStation 3. I said I, I've done with PlayStation 3. I. I stand corrected. <laughs> I bought a so I bought okay. I have Mortal Kombat. I don't know if I own Mortal Kombat 9. There's Mortal Kombat 9 on PS3. I don't know. Maybe I do own it. If I if I do, I'm just gonna sell it. Whatever. So there's that. After that we have here is <clears throat> Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes. I I think I own this on the Wii. But just in case. Okay, now these three I know I don't own on PS3. What, this one I did. I just totally forgot, and these two I didn't even know. So, so the one I totally forgot. I did. I did, I already owned this on PS4. It was actually like around the first year of PS4. I was obsessed trying to find a copy of this game. Uh, this is Natural Doctrine. Um, PS3. Natural Doctrine. I've never seen ever since that year on PS4. Maybe I've seen it like maybe once, but it's so rare. I don't see it anymore. At all. And I don't know how much it goes for on the PS4. 
and I'd even I just I I just forgot it was even on PS3. So natural dog tree. Thank you to Jamie. <clears throat> Swami. Now these two I didn't even know they were on PS3. I didn't know. So this one is Pro Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 on PS3. I, I thought it was just already on PS4. I, I, I don't know what year it came out. I was surprised. Like, was it, like, really? It's on PS3? And this one, it did recently come out on the Switch as a collection or something. And um, I didn't know it was on PS3. This is something I didn't even know at all. Didn't even know. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even. I just. Yeah, I don't know. Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. Um, <clears throat> I never knew. I never knew. I thought it was on a PS3. I, I straight up did. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was a thing. Just that's so straight up. I just don't know. Okay. Um. We can just we just make it go on. On PS2, we got a game called MDK2 Armageddon, maxed out, fully loaded 3D action. Maxed out, fully, no, that's not, okay, MDK2 Armageddon, never heard of it, it was very cheap, uh, it was like less than 7 or 8, <clears throat> so that's why for that. This one, okay, I bought for like 2 bucks, um, this was like, I gotta keep it because my cousin Judy always always wanted to play this game and it's Brad's diamonds forever or Brad's forever diamonds yeah yeah I know and I know I know I talked about I think a yeah I thought a Wii where Brad's game I didn't know about so I bought that one too like last month <clears throat> next one is Garfield lasagna world tour didn't even know it was a thing until I found it and then I watched a video about it like two weeks later it's like oh wow by accident by the way it was on did you know gaming so, <clears throat> like they mentioned, it's like, oh wow, if I didn't buy it, I would have learned about it anyways. Then we have a game called Front Mission 4. Uh, this was like a. <clears throat> then we have here is. <clears throat> wow, I was pretty stuck on there. Huh? Uh, Nickelodeon's El Tigre Adventures of Manny Rivera. Uh, I just forgot it was even a game. Then we have here is Nano Breaker on PS2. I didn't even know it was a game. I didn't know it was a game. So there's a. Uh, the next one here is uh, Stunt GP. Same thing. I didn't know it was a game. It's people that made worms, but it looks pretty fun. Next one I got from the thrift store. Uh, same with the last one. Uh, Disney's Treasure Planet. Um, I was happy to find it. Pretty much. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Next one. This is something I I found on Facebook and I didn't know I was gonna keep it. And then literally, it's just funny how I'm finding stuff that I never heard of, and then when I buy them, and then like weeks to months later, someone I'm subscribed to talks about that certain game. Johnny Millennium, a happy console gamer, just talked about it on like his regrets video I just watched today. Um, so it tells you what video, what time you're watching this if you want to know. And um, I, never, I never heard of the bouncer. The bouncer. I was like, okay, that sounds hella weird, like a strip club thing. But it's not. But <clears throat> Next here is Tom and Jerry War of the Whiskers. I think I own this already on Xbox. Um, I'm not sure I'm keeping it, but it does come with a comic book variant. So that is something. Now, this is the biggest PS2 thing I bought. Um, this is actually thanks to Ricardo from the Swami. Got, got this for like $60. $60. Um, had a trade in a uh, Super Nintendo that I got about the same day, by the way, but I wasn't gonna keep I was gonna sell it for exactly 60 and um, I got it. So, Silent Hills 3. Sorry, trying to get that. There we go. Silent Hills 3. That's insane. Um, I've, I've been looking for this for like a while, and it comes with a soundtrack, so that's pretty cool too. So, and, and the receipt's still in here for the person that originally bought this back then. And it's from a GameStop. It doesn't even exist anymore. It's 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 at a mall. It's even at a mall. It doesn't even exist at all anymore. In Utah, there's a mall called the Cottonwoods Mall. That mall does no longer exist. Meaning that GameStop that was there too, as well, doesn't exist because it had to not exist because they had to move out or well, the mall was going away. 
so Silent Hills 3. Funny you know. Okay. <coughs> Next. Whew. Sorry. I'm just a little tired. I'm almost there. Almost there. I'm almost there. Um, on Xbox and Xbox 360, we got here is Star Wars Star Fighter Special Edition. I think I have this on PlayStation 2. I don't know yet, but we have it now here. Next we have here is Soul Calibur 2 on Xbox. This is actually the last Soul Calibur I needed to have all the Soul Calibers. I've owned the GameCube one for years, the, the PS2 for like less than two to three years, and Soul Calibur 2 on the Xbox. I just never seen it. And yes, I do, and yes, by the way, I do own Soul Calibur 2 HD on the 360, so, and Xbox One, due to the online thing. <coughs> so I know about it. I know about it. The next one, uh, I actually just barely learned about this one through Metal Jesus Rocks, and the next, literally the next two days later, I found out that this one Ace Combat Assault Hor Horizon. So, yeah. I know I'm getting like a lot of Ace Combat games. Another one here. Actually, you don't even know. Next month, I have another one. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, next, after that, we have Fear 2 Project Origin. Um, I don't think I've only I don't think I've owned any of the Fear games, so I'm gonna look out for the other two. The other two. Okay. Um. So I don't own the game, <coughs> but I asked for this until I do get the game eventually. This is Marvel's Avengers uh, pre-order bonus thing. This is like the pins for all the Avengers in the game, except for Spider-Man. Yeah, except for Spider-Man. So there's that. There's that. Just, just, just something to say. Just something to say. Okay. Um. Next, now I love how I said this before in the past. I've made a whole separate video about talking about this topic. That I said I was done with the Wii U games. Like I haven't bought a single brand new Wii U game in like a while, and I'm serious about that. I'm not talking about uh, uh, River City Ransom or Hawaii Shakedown that recently got released on the uh, Wii and or Wii U through European or whatever rights. I'm talking about. Um, well, I didn't know it was even on the Wii U. Gina Sisters Twisted Dreams Director's Cut. I, I didn't know. I just didn't know. So that, that's surprising. So now I feel like I have another one. <laughs> Besides, um, uh, River City Ransom or Hawaii Shakedown, which, whatever. Uh, next, this is a guy from the Facebook, uh, Harvest Moon, um, uh, Magical Melody. I didn't own it. I owned the other one. I didn't. I was like, okay, cool. I got it. So, there's that. <clears throat> now, I paid eighty for. I paid eighty dollars for this one. This is probably the most expensive game I bought. Yeah, the most expensive game I bought of the entire month. The most expensive game. Yeah, I know. A lot of the games are like sixty, or whatever. This one's eighty, and it's a. It's a used game, it's a game I've been looking for. I didn't care if I found it on Xbox, PS2, or GameCube, but now I found it and it's on the GameCube. The, the, the most expensive, the most superior version there is. <clears throat> Guys, thank you to Ricardo again, thank you. This is Def Jam Pfeiffer NY as of New York. Yes, I found a copy of Def Jam Pfeiffer New York City and I'm, I'm excited that I, I was like, oh my god. Fuck yeah. I can't believe I finally bought it. I can't believe I finally got it. Def Jam Fight for New York. Fucking excited for that. You have no idea. Um, I already own a lot of the most expensive GameCube games there is. But not all of them. Of course, I don't have Cube of War or Gotcha Force or Pokemon Box Ruby and Sapphire. But I do have like Paper Mario and Fire Emblem and Skies of Arcadia and, you know, Pokemon XD and whatever else. But, um,. Yeah. Okay. Now on the Xbox One, I bought The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Um, I, I've always said I don't like The Witcher, but
but I have kind of grew up to me a little bit. I do respect it. Um, I know there's a Netflix show. I do kind of want to watch it, so... Toss a coin to your Witcher. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I know that's something they say in this show. Um, I bought it for five bucks. I found it at a pawn shop. I forgot like to say that, pawn shop. But, still. Uh, <coughs> this one, it came out just recently, and I got it within the same month, I think it was. So, Fast and the Furious Crossroads on the Xbox One. Now, this one I bought for $20 on Facebook Marketplace, and it just came out. I was like, holy shit. Um, I've not played it, I've not tried it, but I own it. So I'm like, wow. Okay, I didn't spend 30 or $40 for it, so that's good. It saved like 10 to 25, potentially. All right, and then uh, this is the only PS4 game I bought the, uh, the entire month. Uh, next month will be crazier. <laughs> this is also on Facebook. I found Destroy All Humans, uh, this is something I actually wanted to find personally because I just wanted to destroy all humans on my PS4 and I found it for 20 bucks. So, pretty excited about that. Alright. Now, you already know for the month of September what came out in September. So, uh, this is the pre order bonus for the Joy Con controller skins, or, uh, grip if you want to say. This is the Super Mario 3D All Stars, uh, well, controller grip skins things. I'm not going to use it. I'm, not, I'm, straight, I'm straight up pointing it out. I'm not going to use it. I'm not gonna. It's just something I wanted to keep. Collect it. Alright. Now we're down to the last down to the last few things. Alright. So, for uh, an accessory I finally got the Legend of Zelda uh, Skyward Sword Wii Mote variant. I finally got it. I've been looking for one for a while. Thank you to Ricardo, again. So, there's that. Now, this one's from Jamie Swamit. Uh, this is a 3DS game. This is The Legend of Legacy. This comes with uh, art book and uh, soundtrack. So, there's that. Oops, sorry. There's that. I feel like I'm falling into dropping or something. I don't know why I am, but it just, it just feels like that. I'm weird. I am, well, I am weird. Anyways, there's that. Oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Next is my only PSP game I bought this month. Uh, Capcom Puzzle World. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. But it does come with uh, Super Puzzles Fighter 2 Turbo, <laughs> Bus Bros Collection, and Block Block. Or Block. I don't know. That's no, Block Block. Yeah, Block Block. So, yeah, never heard of Puzzle World. Um, but. Again, something I never knew about, and something I didn't have. All right, now for the last four, uh, these are all I found from. Yeah, I got all four of these from GameStop. <clears throat> all four. So we got here is um, the Wonderful 101 remastered on the Nintendo Switch. I already own this on the Wii U, so there's that. And then we have. Skull Girls Second Encore physically on the Nintendo Switch. I, this is one of those I didn't know it came out. I bought it because I saw it. I was like, oh my god, must get it. So Skull Girls Second Encore. I don't know. I just wanted to open it up. All right, next <sighs> might surprise you. Might say finally. I don't know, but I've been mentioning I've been wanting to get this for a while, and I finally found a copy. Cheap-ish. Animal Crossing New Horizons. So we've got Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's that's only cool. I think Animal Crossing. That's pretty cool. And the last one is, of course, the biggest one of them all of all September. What everybody wanted. I pre-ordered it the moment it came out. I, even with my friend DBZ and Moreno, uh, I forgot to he was here too. To go do the pre-orders in case I don't lose on it. Which we found out was like a million copies later, anyways. Um, Super Mario 3D All Stars. Um, I got through almost all of Super Mario 64. Just, just trying 200% it by myself, and I only forgot about one star, so it's pretty good so far. Uh, besides that, um, yeah, Super Mario 64. Um, 
3D All Stars. I want to get to Sunshine and Galaxy at some point, but yeah, had fun with it so far. <coughs> so that's all for the month of September. But I do want to say a very special occasion. Now, this is something I think I forgot in the month of August, but I didn't mean to. So here it is for the month of September. This is a very beat up box. This box is a lot. Uh, pretty beat up in the corner. I want to get a protection box for it. I should just order it online on eBay uh, to get like at least 20, 25 of them or whatever. Because I do have about that much to save and preserve. This one does need it. Um, this is, <clears throat> and I know it looks weird when I'm going to show you, okay? Uh, this is my one of my favorite Legend of Zelda games of all time. It's my very first one I've ever actually beaten, um, even uh, with my cousin, and we had great memories playing this. So, if you guys remember exceeding Wolf from way back then, um, I'm talking about him, Josh, and um, I played this a few times with him. 64 GameCube, Wii Virtual Console, even the 3DS version. He was obsessed with that when it came out. When I got it. Um, he he was better to me than in that game, but I, I really love this game. Um, again, I always will say that this game is one of my top five Zelda games of all time, but I can't tell you it's my number one game of all time, so I don't know which one it is for Zelda. Um, it's always been back and forth between a few, always Majora's Mask, even though I don't beat the game, I just love the environment, I like the feeling of it, I like playing it. But I don't like playing it to a certain point. I don't know why. I just like that. I really love Link Between Worlds. I actually did beat that game. I thought it was perfect and fantastic. And it felt so great that I wanted to replay it the moment I beat it. I played so, so much, so, so of Link Between uh, Link to the Past, which I'm sorry. I never played it completely. I played bits and pieces of it. I really should play it because I've been told it's the best Zelda game there ever is. Um, I like Twilight Princess, but I don't like the whole, like, it feels like it's, <clears throat> the I don't know, something about it, like the environment or, or something is just mud down, it feels too medieval for me, like, it, like, something, something kills it for me, something kills it for me, but the whole wolf and the whole darkness and the whole, like, of course, it's up to you to save the world again, type of thing, and I like that feeling, but I don't like the whole, like, it's greedy, and I feel like it's too... I don't, I don't. I don't want to say realistic, but to something like that. <clears throat> like there's something about it that that doesn't tell me it's a, my favorite game of all time for Zelda. Um, but it's there. And of course, if I'm saying any other Zelda games, I, I don't know why. I really do like Four Sword Adventures. Uh, just something about it makes me think like, oh my god, it's really good. But <clears throat> of course, the one I did not mention. That I feel like it's 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 deserved to be mentioned. You're like that's the one you have in your hands. Which you're right. It is the one I have in my hands. Everybody, this is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. Now, this is, again, pretty beat up. The box is pretty beat up. I've seen worse boxes. Um, <clears throat> this is my attempt trying to fix it. I fixed a few boxes actually doing this rubber band method uh, to make the box as straight as possible without having those protective glasses, um, which I should get because they work way better. Um, <clears throat> And the rubber bands is not a, uh, hurting the box. I, I, I checked. It's just making the try to straight out as much as possible. <clears throat> uh, rubber bands are like pretty loose. They're just trying to tie it up. Just to you know, they're, they're pretty loose. That's it. Um, <clears throat> they're just trying to tie it up the, the box so it's like more like actual box. Not like it's falling apart to the left or something like that. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, this box. <clears throat> I bought this exact for like 40 bucks. I, <clears throat> man, I, my voice is going out. And I, I I, think that's probably fair for what I paid for. I, the, the game's inside, manual's inside, um, everything's inside. Uh, but the box, of course, yeah, the game alone is for like, like I don't know how much it goes for nowadays because of the, year, the, the pandemic. But I'm going to say like 20, 20 to 30 dollars or something the game is I don't know so with me getting the box I feel like that's worth it I, I don't know I, I could be wrong I don't know but um, this is something I really wanted to get <clears throat> something I really wanted to get and um, my next I, I do have a good couple big Nintendo 64 games I do want the box for 
um, like Majora's Mask, the Kirby Sports, the Crystal Shards, and Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, it's just something I, I wanted to work on. I know I can just buy them on eBay. I know that, but I, I'm I, I'm trying to catch up on games. You've all been noticing this for years. Uh, I, so here's something I want to point out to everybody right now. I don't know how long this video is. I don't know how long this video is. I don't even know how long I've been recording. I don't know how much battery I have left. I've seen it in the corner. But I want to mention that this is something I've been trying to figure out myself too. How far are you going to be uh, no, sorry, to um, how far are you going to collect video games for? So I've made a goal and a promise. And this promise and goal has been failed to me it could fail to me so the goal was I'm not jumping into the next generation of gaming which was supposed to be the PS5 and Xbox Series X um, I of course I'm interested in playing the games but I don't want to I, I, I hate to say it but I don't want to collect for them I want to I want to stick to the current generations and, and back I just want to focus on all that stuff first but I don't want to stay behind in current gaming. I do want to play like the newest games that come out on PS5 and Series X and Switch and f forward. Um, <clears throat> but I, I don't want to collect for them yet. Um, even though it's probably a good idea too, or just wait until they're cheaper, which is like, you know, it depends on what games go up and what goes down and what stays the same after time. But I just don't want. I don't. I'm not, I'm not ready to jump into the next generation. I think I'm getting the PS5 day one, but I don't. I don't see me going out to go buy them, like the next cons, the next games. I, I don't want to do that yet. Um, <clears throat> it, it's just something I've learned and realized throughout time is that I've I've noticed throughout gaming channels and people's perspectives and and, and not even opinions. It's just how they've been trying to adapt to this entire, like, not pandemic or anything, this entire, like, what what's next for them in collecting? Like, what are they going to do now? What what are they going to invest in now? What are they going to do now? Besides playing the games. Um, I've already been selling games. That's actually been working great. I have a shit ton of games to sell. Um, I got to repost, like, 360 and PS3, and I got to post up PS2 and Wii. And Xbox One, because I haven't posted those ones up yet, but repost 360 PS3 because I already sold a good chunk of them, and I got more of them, so I could either repost it with the new stuff in there. Um, <clears throat> so those have been like great for like making money and trying to get stuff I've been trying to buy for years or invest into getting more of that stuff to get even bigger amounts of you know games and or stuff I do need um, or want. So um, that's what I've been doing. Um, I will make a totally different topic video about this, but I just wanted to point out what I'm doing. But what I'm trying to say is I am not ready to jump into the next generation of gaming for PS5 and Xbox Series X. I'm good with the whole what's currently out right now in the year 2020. Uh, Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One. Um, I'm good with everything. I don't want to jump into the next one. I don't want to. I know I will eventually. I know I'm going to play them, but I just don't want to start collecting for them yet. Um, as of that said, yes, I'm excited for the new Halo Infinite. I'm excited for Miles Morales Spider-Man. I'm excited for Sackboy Adventure, or Biggs Adventure, whatever. Um, Demon Souls Remastered. I'm excited for those games. I am. Um, but <coughs> I don't want to collect yet. I don't want. I don't want to go into them yet. I'm trying really hard to just stick into just past retro stuff. Uh, NES, Super, 64, GameCube, uh, Wii, Wii U, Switch, Game Boy, Color, Advance, um, DS, 3DS, Virtual Boy, uh, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, Vita, PSP, Xbox, uh, Original, 361, um, Sega, <coughs> Genesis, Master System, even though I only like one Master System game, um, or sorry, two. Uh, Genesis, Master System, um, Saturn, Dreamcast, and now 32X because I just bought Doom. Um, and yeah, I even got into PC games. Even though I'm not playing a single one of them, I'm just collecting. But I, I just, 
oh sorry, another one's like television and Atari. Um, Engage. I, I just don't want to jump into the next generation. I don't. I'm sorry. I just don't. I really want to focus on everything prior of 2020. And this entire year, I know I'm, I'm putting a lot of money into Switch, PS4, modern stuff. I know that. But I can't help it because that's still currently what's available to me right now. And I don't want to jump into the next generation of consoles. So, yeah. Sorry for taking this little segment just to get out of the way, but I just wanted to talk about that. I don't know why. I just wanted to. So, anyways, um, again, I I have I have video game ideas and, and stuff I want to talk about on camera, but this whole coughing and feeling sick and all this other shit, I just don't know if I'm ready to do anything with that. So. Um, once again, 100%, thank you all for watching. My name is Phoenix and Shadow. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below. Don't forget to smash that bell button and get notified of any future videos I upload or stream. If you want to follow me anywhere, there'll be links in the description below for streamlabs.com forward slash Scene Shadow to support me. Also, the donations, anything helps, the tip jar. The tip jar. If you want me to say anything to you, I will on Twitter when I stream, when I finally get stream, or anything. 100%. It, it does support the channel. I am really am looking forward to getting into the computer. I really am. I want to go back to streaming. It's really pissing me off that I can't do stuff that I want to do. Um, besides that, uh, just Patreon. I don't ever use it, but because no one ever goes to it, but there's Patreon. Um, then there's uh, PayPal.me. I will say the biggest two, if you want to support me in uh, money-wise, which I hate to say it like that, is paid, uh, sorry, not Patreon. I'm sorry. No. PayPal.me and or Streamlabs.com forward slash Team Shadow. Streamlabs is probably the best one. Um, if you want to join my crew anyway, she before, if you want to talk to me personally, there'll be a course link in the description below for Twitter. And if you want to join my, well, my crew, honestly, I do have a Discord. I do have a Discord. It's in the description below. Um, anything, really, anything helps. Um, if you want to know what the money's going to go to, if you do support me right now, uh, it's just going to go to fixing this computer. It's going to go to possibly getting a new microphone. Sorry, not a headset. What do you want to say? Sorry. Um, that's it. I don't. Whatever you guys spend money to me, whenever, whenever you guys do, I always do it for equipment. I got a blue Yeti because of you guys. I want to say thank you for that. I want. I got uh, a blue snowball. Which I got for very cheap. And I want to say the guy that. That's, that's literally donated me $20 once. That was literally your $20 right there for that snowball. So thank you. Um, just stuff like that. Like, let me try to grow. I know that the channel is still growing, and I'm not even uploading a video every day or every week or even a month. Can I still see subscribers, still seeing views and, and likes? And I, I love seeing that. But. I, I can't do much when I feel like I'm limited at times, or I don't have the motivation. I don't have the. I don't feel like I have the confidence, or or the time, or I'm busy. I don't know. I hate that. But again, you could always, always hit me up on Twitter at Xenia Shadow. You could always ask me a question on my Discord. It doesn't matter if it's even on there. It could be on my Twitter as well. Um, it could even be in this comment. It could be on this video. You can come back to this video like, like a hundred times, and I can still comment to like, yeah, my day is fine for some reason on this video but once again I really want to say thank you sorry for making this video very long like it always has been but that's just how I am so once again everybody thank you for watching don't forget to I already did that <laughs> I already did that so uh, again thank you for watching I guess I'll see you for the next one right bye okay bye Deuces. Control!